Starship and Stage Zero are being prepped for an orbital launch attempt in March. Elon talks colonization with One World Government wannabes. Starlink increases its flocks some more, and we finish with today's honorable mention. I'm Kevin, and this is SpaceX in the News. Last week, we watched in awe as SpaceX lit up 31 of Booster 7's 33 Raptor engines, producing 7.9 million pounds of thrust for a full duration over a handful of seconds. But the company tweeted that that was less than half of the booster's capability, since, according to Elon, the test was conducted at about 50% throttle. The launch attempt next month will be at about 90%. Local RGV aerial photography provided some images of the orbital launch mount after the static fire was conducted. It's a little charred, but SpaceX could sell it on eBay as slightly used. RGV also shared a close-up of the armored plates that are expected to be installed on top of the mount between now and launch. As far as the vehicle itself, she executed the test lacking at least one of its hydraulic power units, which are used to gimbal or steer the engines. However, one HPU was also seen by Lab Padre's cam being reinstalled this week. The majority, if not all, Raptor shielding was removed after the test, most likely for post-inspection of the engines, but no engines have been removed at this time. According to COO Gwen Shootsgood, who spoke to reporters at last week's FAA conference, the main objective is to not blow up the launch pad during next month's mission to orbit. Quote, we will go for a test flight, and we will learn from the test flight, and we will do more test flights, unquote. But to repeat what we briefly covered last Friday, before any test flights can occur, they need the FAA's blessing via a launch license, which will come in part when SpaceX has finished implementing some of the mitigations the agency identified in the recent environmental assessment of the Boca Chica area. Again, quoting Space News, quoting Gwen, we've been working all the mitigations since we got it. I think we'll be ready to fly at the time frame that we get the license. She also disclosed to the author, Jeff Faust, that SpaceX has sold Phobos and Deimos. Their two oil rigs turned sea-based launch and landing platforms. Gwen said they weren't right for the job, and SpaceX wants to fly Starship to understand it before proceeding. In the meantime, back at Starbase, Texas, Starship 26 has joined 25 at the launch site. Over the weekend, it was transported down Highway 4 and lifted onto suborbital pad A. And oddly enough, this is the first Starship prototype expected to fly with no heat shield, no payload bay, and no flaps. So my speculation is it has something to do with satisfying the company's contract with NASA concerning orbital refueling for Artemis and HLS. Perhaps a fuel depot, but that's just my best guess. Roads are closed and the pad is clear for more testing today, so keep an eye on Lab Padre's live games. Elon virtually attended this year's World Government Summit in Dubai on Wednesday. <laughs> Hello. And discussed several topics, including his often repeated reasoning for getting humans off the planet. The sort of civilization and consciousness is like a tiny candle in a vast darkness, and, and, and a very vulnerable tiny candle that could easily get blown out. Um, and I think we should therefore take great care with what may very well be this tiny candle in a vast darkness and make sure that it does not go out and that we extend the light of consciousness beyond Earth um, and do everything we can to ensure that uh, the light of consciousness does not go out. Ironically, but understandably, for obvious reasons to most, Elon is not a fan of a one-world government. I think we should be maybe a little bit concerned about uh, actually becoming too much of a single world government. Inhale that copium, globalist fanboys. On Sunday, Falcon lifted off from Slick 40, Florida, hoisting another flock of 55 Starlink birds to low Earth orbit. This was the 12th mission for the first stage booster, landing on a shortfall of gravitas bobbing on the Atlantic Ocean. Elon tweeted that this year his company should average around 400 tons of useful mass to orbit per quarter. And they definitely started out strong for Q1. Up next is another Starlink mission this afternoon, lifting off from the west coast at 11.12 a.m. local time, and a second Falcon mission on the east coast for Inmarsat. We will cover the first launch live here on the channel, so subscribe and stand by to join us, buddy. I've got your buddy, friend. But meow, it's time for today's honorable mention, friend. Today's honorable mention goes to the space aliens who have been successfully cloaking their spacecraft as Chinese baroons so they can watch our nation destroy itself in real time. Oh, baby! Well, that's all for today. So glad you stopped by to share this moment with me. We can enjoy more moments together if you use the link below to become a Locals member and support the show. Have a nominal weekend, and until like a few hours from now, Godspeed. Godspeed.